rarely have I seen somebody so fuming with a straight sets win. Yeah, um, I'm just looking for a big win right now. I'm in this four or five week slump and uh, you know, I've been playing with Gabriel Clemens and I've been playing so much better than that. And what I would say, Dan, is uh, the game of darts, you know, a lot of it is in your mind and my mind was weak tonight. Um, and I was, I'm pretty disappointed with my behavior rather, not behavior as in a sense that I put anybody off, but my behavior as in, the way I sort of uh, produced darts tonight. I'm just a, just a little bit disappointed in myself there. I, I, I know I've always got my doubles, you know, nine out of 14 is fantastic, but I'm not here to have an 88 average. I'm, you know, I might go back and be happy with a 3-0 win, but I thought there was better than that tonight. You're obviously coming into this year's William O. World Championship as the reigning Premier League champion, but immediately after that, you yeah. catch COVID, you struggle, and it's it's been a uh, quite a long road back for you so far. I don't think COVID's the, the the number one thing. I think there was a couple of technical things. I mean, we go back to PDC TV where I'm playing Simon Whitlock, averaging 118 at the Autumn Series, four nil up. There's something. There's a little little something coming to my game which is just not right with the throw. Uh, I had a chat with Wayne Mardle, see if he could help me, and he told me everything that I thought was problem with the game. The COVID's a great excuse, it's an easy excuse. I feel fit, I feel strong. Um, that, that's not the real issue. I was a bit weak in the mind tonight and I've got 11 days to correct that. But I'm in the, I'm in the last 32 of the Worlds. I've got to find that granite, that determination. I, I watched, once again, Mark Selby, three each today, people, people say, um, that there's that equality between me and the way, you know, the way he plays snook, and I thought that was going to inspire me tonight. I practiced well. Uh, I, I lost the ball, and then um, Diogo turned around and said, Glenn can throw first. So for half an hour, that was like, why has he done that? And uh, it's a tough game up there. It's a tough game, Dan. It's interesting you say that. You have been practicing playing these online games with the German number one, Gabriel Clemens. And look, you've been posting the stats, so unless you're lying to everybody, the, the standard's there. The, the game is there. It's just unlocking it in the big games. That's yeah. Winning a game on stage is something you haven't done since the Premier League. I, yeah, I, I, never, I never won a game against Gabriel. I mean, my averages went from 94 to 99, but um, I tried to treat it. I put my shoes on and, you know, like my, you know, like it was really warm in my in my dark room and I try to make it as as much as what Ali Pali would be and he, I mean he's playing terrific so I come here and I was like right come on you know I'm playing Steve Beat and this is going to be a great it's his 30th year uh, I played in the uh, BDO once and I was a sh definitely playing Sam Head and uh, and then all of a sudden Mike Day from New Zealand beats him so overnight you know like I never once practiced for Diogo and, and, and no disrespect to the guy, but I wanted to play that legend of Steve Beaton up there. Um, and then, you know, I get a great chance to showcase what I've been doing over the past two weeks and it just didn't work. And oh, it's a lonely place up there. It's a lonely place when you're not playing well. Well, look, the, the first thing is to win the game. You've done that. You'll be back after Christmas. Yeah. And in what is a particularly tricky section of the draw in what may be the most wide open William Hill World Championship we've seen, it's a huge opportunity now, isn't it? How, how good are you at putting these situations behind you to then just look forward? Well, I thought it was a great draw, Dan. You know, A.D. Lewis, uh, Rob Cross and Jamie Hughes, not one of us were playing well. And then when the non-seeds come out, you're looking at, you know, you want to avoid Dirk and you want to avoid Damon Hetter. And I, and I wouldn't rule out uh, Baggish, who I think's the best American since Larry Butler. Uh, so, and all of a sudden they're in our section now. Um, but they, they were the things that were motivating me in my practice. You know, you know, I was beginning to practice two, three, four hours a day again. And, and I wasn't playing like I did tonight. It's, a, it's an extraordinary game, Dart. It might be just a, a little bit of tungsten in your hands, but I'm beginning to realise more and more that an awful lot of the game is in, is, is in your mind. Well, enjoy your Christmas.
come back stronger. You're the best at yeah, the best. You, you're the best. Flatter you'll get. You absolutely you're the best. Know where you're the best and Dawson. Glenn, you mentioned uh, it being a lonely place up there. Do you almost feel like you're battling yourself a little bit at the moment? How did Borough get on? They were 1-0 up, Jim. Yeah, 1-1-0. One, one, yeah, get him. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was fighting with myself and I was beginning to think I must look a real wally, you know, on, on the stage tonight because I, I thought I, 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 I won a second set and left two darts in the ball. My mind was not great tonight and uh, because just utter frustration because I wanted to average 110. I wanted to make a big statement tonight just because I've been practising okay and practising well and, and I'm the Premier League champion. You know, I've got to go out there and an 88 average is just, oh God, I can do so much better than this and it was quite lonely up there. Were you not aware that you'd left your darts in the board? Was that just a sign of frustration just, like you said? Just my mind was just, that's pretty much the, the headline of this interview. My, my mind wasn't where it should have been tonight and it, it's so frustrating. I should be going home with a 3-0 victory. I'm on a very early train in the morning, you know, because I want to get back to Middlesbrough. I want to get back to my practice board and I'm assuming I'm coming back on Boxing Day and I had everything planned because that's the way I am. I'm regimental and uh, that's not the way I wanted to play tonight. And, and ever since the Premier League, has this been the toughest spell of your career, the first kind of bump in the road? I haven't celebrated the Premier League. You know, I kissed that trophy, I slept with that trophy, and three hours later I was in a car on the way to Heathrow, and then, like, my dart had just gone downhill so badly. It's like, you know, you know me from the Teesside ranking events days. I've never played bad, and I've tried to tick every box. Is it, is it technical? Is it... You know, COVID was an easy, easy excuse. It's nothing to do with COVID. I'm fit, I'm strong. Um, I, I know exactly where it is and it's in my mind. And that's where, how I won Lakesides, that's how I won Premier League because I was strong mentally. And right now I'm not. Are you just going to take a few days to regroup now and then back on the practice ball over Christmas? I'm on practice ball tomorrow night. I was, um, I'm very angry, very disappointed and I've won 3 0. But don't you think that sums me up? I'm never happy. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks for your time. Glenn, you talk about you're, you're still learning in this game and things you've learned from this evening over the last three months. Um, it may surprise, it may surprise some, some people, but it shows what, what game that is. I thought I had, I had the answers because when you're, when you're 50 year old and you're experienced and you think you're going to have the answers to these young pups who are coming up, but you know, it's just everything I. Everything I thought was going to happen tonight didn't happen. And I'm beating myself up tonight. And uh, it's, it, it's, it's disappointing. And uh, I just wanted to make a statement. And, and, and I didn't do that. And, you know, the headlines is just exactly what I know it's going to be. You know, it's like Glenn is a great finisher. But, you know, I've got to, I don't know, just my darts didn't sit right. And my mind didn't feel good. And, the throw felt great, I, mean, I had a fantastic MC and, and all them things are in my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting, I'm fighting and, you know, and, 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 and luckily, you know, my dog was nowhere near uh, where he wants to be, but, yeah. Just one on the, the expectations from yourself and um, I'm sure your, your fans and people on social media, has that played a part, do you think, in, in your declining form over the last couple of months? I, I like that question uh, and, um, and and I'll answer it in the sense that once I won that Premier League, my mentality was I don't care now if I never win another dart match. My CV was a guy who played local league, Teesside rank events, and all of a sudden in 2015 I won this World Masters. And then in five years time I'm a three-time Lakeside champion and a Premier League champion. So I came away from Coventry that night thinking like that let's just like, I don't care if I never win another game of darts but then I went back home to Middlesbrough I went to buy some new shoes for tonight and the guy who was served me was like oh you're not playing very well at the moment I walked out into the town and people were coming up to me saying oh, oh what's going on Glenn you know like you lift us when you win a bit like Middlesbrough winning tonight that lifts me a bit like when England played in the World Cup and England are winning, that lifts me. What I didn't realise is how much of an impact I have on other people. And that's the grit and determination that I was like, right, 
there's one more dart and chapter for me left, and that is to win a world championship in PDC. And uh, that's where I am right now. Thank you very much for your time.